everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hi everyone and welcome back. Another week, another vlog. Um, I guess, sorry, try and keep that a bit more stable. Okay. I guess we have a lot to update you guys on. Um, we ended up getting given another two pigs. We didn't necessarily want another two pigs, but um, they got dropped off for us to look after because a friend of ours is going away and they needed someone to care for them. So, um, we've got two more pigs. So, um, we've got these pigs in. They got dropped off very late at night. Put them in, come check on them in the morning, and one is gone. And I mean, like, gone, gone, not even on our property. We looked everywhere, and it just disappeared. So, um, 36 hours go by. And we're really thinking, like, I don't know, we didn't know who to call, none of our neighbors had seen it. We obviously have looked everywhere. Um, and then we did get a call from one of our neighbors down the road, a long way down the road, and they said the pig was sleeping in their front yard. So I'll just post up what they wrote right there. Um, but she seems to be settling in now. She's. I don't know, the other pigs don't really like her, so that's kind of annoying, but she's not getting out. And I guess in time, hopefully they start to get along, right? Okay, so this is where we left off in our last vlog. Um, we're out looking for the pig right now. And the cows came up because we were up at the fence and cows are super inquisitive. At this point we were actually super worried i think it wasn't even a day yet but we just couldn't find it anywhere and we thought we should have at least heard it by now if it was on our property so then we started to think it wasn't on our property so when we finally get a call that the pig is located of course we're relieved but then we come up with the next problem, which is how do we get the pig home? Um, you can't just like lead it back with a rope and she just definitely didn't want to. So Nathan decided to pick her up and chuck her in the back of his car and drive her back. And it wasn't easy. The pig fought him the whole way, but we did get her in the car and back home. And mind you, this pig weighs like 100 kilos, so it was hard.
that random chair was inside the cubby house, so obviously we will dispose of that. Onto the next thing, it literally never ends, so I think it's just with the sniffing around the edge of everything. Just cleaned out the nesting area and given the chickens some fresh hay. That should make them happy. She scared herself going over that jump, so watch and see how slow she goes over the jumps after that. And this is what a full day of work looks like. Tuck it out. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Later.